Hey guys, it's Natalie and today I'm here with my August monthly plan with me. This month I'm using a kit from Simply Watercolor Co. So I'm just going to go through it with you. Um, the first thing that came in my order was this little sampler from Water Simply Watercolor Co. It's on her matte paper and there's some gorgeous little deco pieces. You've got some diptych candles, some washi, roll stacks, a little bow clip, a bow planner, a flag, a little divider, a um, gold glitter label and a gold glitter laptop and then Simply Watercolor Co. Happy Mail and Simply Watercolor Co. New Foil releases and I am on the Simply Watercolor Co. PR team so you can use my code Natalie15 for 15% off your order which is great because she never really does sales um, so you can use that on Shopify and Etsy on Shopify her um, prices are a bit cheaper so I'll have them linked down below so this is the kit that I got it is her August monthly kit that was in collaboration with JP Sticker Studio so JP Sticker Studio did all of the artwork and then um, Simply Watercolor Co made it into a monthly kit and JP Sticker Studio made it into a weekly kit so I loved this as soon as I saw it. I love swans. So the first thing that you get here is a little sheet on matte paper with gold foil date dots, a little heart and the days of the week. So you can place them on the header bars. Then the rest of the kit I got in glossy. So this is the first page here. So pretty. Um, you've got the header bars which are all foiled. So you've got this one here and then to cover the two days there. Then you have another strip here to cover the days that are not in the month, which is also foiled. And then you do get a full box here, which is gorgeous. And then all of your icons. So you've got house, shopping cart, uh, cleaning, TV, plane, gift, another house, shopping cart, cleaning, TV, another plane, another gift, an asterisk, wine, package, alarm clock, Etsy, payday. Um, an asterisk wine that these are the same um, and then a car meals or dinner heart paw print haircut um, running and then these are repeated so love that so that's the first page then the second page here has um, all of your sidebar stickers so you can stack up those four here and then this is the other, other header bar that you place on this side of the page and you can see that you um, take these little cut out stickers the days of the week and place those there and then you've got all this gorgeous deco at the bottom which is a lot of it's gold foiled as well so you've got some swans and wings and flowers a bow and then um, some mason jars filled with flowers which are gorgeous then the next page here is functional so you've got six paydays and six bill dues which is great and then you've got another two paydays and another two bill dues but in a different format and then you've got six, 12, 24 labels love the gold glitter as well and then the last page you have headers so you've got important birthdays this month remember tasks chores appointments and events then you've got four half boxes with some gorgeous deco pieces on them then you have all of these flags which i love because i think using little flags uh, as the month progresses um, is great because you can fit them in no matter what you've got in the box and then you've got all of these strips here so you've got one two three four five six seven different vacation strips and they're all different sizes and this one here on the bottom is a scallop so i love this i'm really excited to use this kit i'm being very excited about it so um, I will go ahead and plan. So the first thing that I'm doing here is using my white out tape just to white out the um, top headers of the monthly spread. So um, you can't see through the stickers because this Erin Country Neutral Planner is really dark. Um, I know from past experience that you can see through everything. So this step is really worth it just so it doesn't interfere with the stickers and just looks a lot nicer. I did struggle a lot with this white out tape. Don't buy this tape. It's like a Mar big sidewinder and it's just horrible. Like once you put it down, um, 
once you put the white out tape down it'll peel up and then if you go over it it scratches it and peels it up and it's just a bit of a disaster so it did take me a while so i really sped that up otherwise we would have been here forever in this plan with me um so i used the white out to cover up both of those headers and the little goals script on the sidebar and now i'm placing the header bars from the simply watercolor co kit down so i'm used popping the left side down which has got a beautiful foil of august on it then the date covers that also cover up july um there which continues the pattern really nicely which i really like and then i've got the right side header down as well i love little foiled bows on the swans on the right side it's really pretty and then i am just working on my sidebar so i'm just stacking up all of the sidebar check boxes and placing those directly underneath each other and that fit perfectly in the sidebar and I just followed the pattern that it was on the sheet because I really like the way that looks so really pretty all the stripes the swans and then the gorgeous floral as well really stunning and then for the dates in September there's another little date cover strip so I just placed that on the bottom there and that's really gorgeous and foiled and now they simply watercolor kits you get a little functional sheet that is foiled um, that has the days of the week and the date dots on it so i just placed the days of the week on the sidebar there and i was thinking that's such a really good idea because if you um you know edit your monthly spread so this starts on sunday in the erin codron but if you want to edit it to make it start on a monday you can do that with the dates, the days of the week and the date covers. So I think it was really handy that she includes that and it's not printed on the monthly spread already. I think that's a really smart um, idea and it's very customizable because um, obviously we use these stickers to customize our planners. Um, so yeah, I really like that. So now I was just fiddling around with that strip, the date cover strip for the September dates and I wanted to flip it around so... The foil was on the other side because there was just like one bunch of flowers that wasn't completely foiled. So I used my undo to rip that off and then I wanted to um, trim off the excess because it was just a little bit long. So I just used the Erin Condren ruler that comes with that comes with a planner um, and my slice tool which is from Amazon and all the tools that I use and like undo everything is always linked in the description box and there's always links to Amazon because that's the easiest place for everyone wherever you are in the world to find it so always check that out and now I was just using my eyelash applicators which you guys know I like to use for little stickers especially headers to place the um, headers on the sidebar sticker so I use this month important remember and then task so I usually track like my videos and my spreads in there um what books I'm reading that month and then um because uni is back it'll be assignments for this month and next month so that's that and now I'm just working on the spreads so I am taking the payday half boxes and placing those down um on the three Tuesdays, um, Wednesday, and then Thursday. Um, so I got all those paydays down, and she also has like thinner ones. So I popped a payday down on the 15th because um, my Ebates check is coming through. So that's really exciting. <laughs> um, so I just use that as a payday as well. And now I'm taking the bill juice stickers and placing those down. So I've got my bill juice that I color coded for the gym on the every second Friday and then I also have my mobile phone bill on the 10th on the 17th um oh no that's not a bill due that's a payday um and then I have some other bill due so I've got like my little mystery box renewal um iCloud um and like the planner society stuff that I like to mark in there as well even though it does come out of my account but so I've got all those bill dues down and all my paydays, which is really like one of the main things in my monthly spread that I like to like just have have it just in there so I can look at it at a glance and know when all those things are happening. And now I'm just going to create my little labels that I do for the weeks of the semester. So I just using a washi strip, I just chose to use this um, pale pink one. And I am just writing the weeks of the semester on it and then cutting those up. 
with my slice tool and my Aaron Condren ruler. And so I can place those on every Monday to symbolize what week of the semester it is. I really like doing that up in the corner because it's not something I need a big label for. And that's just the way I've been marking it for, I think, since I've started my monthly, doing monthly spreads. So um, I really like doing that. And especially in this kit, you get a ton of washi. So it's a way to use all that washi. So now I'm really going day by day. So on the first, I just used a label and a gift sticker because my grandmother and my cousin's birthday. So very exciting. And then I'm just using a flag and an Etsy icon so I can release a payment that I need to do. And I try to just do like those little reminder sort of things throughout the month with a flag and an icon. And I think it looked really nice. And then more event type stuff, I used a label. So on the third it's my sister's formal so i wanted to use a big box big half box for that because it's like gonna be a big day um and then on the fourth i also used a flag just to symbolize it was the last day to enroll or change any subjects for university so i just used a flag for that and then i go and put an icon on later and then on the fifth i also wanted to use a half box because it's my cousin's birthday so i know we're going um to have a party for that so um I wanted to use a half box for that as well. And you can see that I was just um, flipping the different half boxes around because I just wanted to make sure all the colours were spread out really nicely. So, and I love that splunk swan one with the glitter, gold glitter. It's really pretty. So I did use a clinking glasses icon on the fifth, which is really cute. And then on the seventh, I used a half box to symbolise my friend's birthday. And then also in the half box, I have a driving lesson. So I use the driving lesson icon there. And then I use the little foiled heart icon, which is really tiny. It comes on the date cover sheet um, to symbolise that it's same but different week. So I could just squeeze it in there just barely. And then on the 12th, it's like all paydays and bill dues this week. Um, on the 12th, I have my friend's birthday party. So I wanted to use a half box and clinking glasses for that. So that's very exciting. And then on to the 14th, I just used two labels there. I need to submit a report and it's my other friend's birthday. So I used a money bag and a gift icon for that. And then on to the 18th, I just used a label and a pink Two Little Beats pencil sticker to mark my assignment. And you guys know um, that I love using those little pencil stickers for my assignments. You've seen them in my monthly plan with me before. And then on to the next week on the 24th, I need to ship my package, so I used a label and a package icon for that, and then I had another assignment. And then the last week on the 28th, I just needed to submit a report as well, so I just used a label and a money bag icon for that. And now I'm going back through just to put some little reminders. So on the 16th, I used a flag and an asterisk icon just to remember to announce the same at different week October shop. And then on the 17th, um, I just needed to remember to put together the same at different week collages from the week before. And then on the 4th, I added that alarm clock icon there. And then on the 12th, I just used a flag and a house icon just to symbolize that my parents are going away for the weekend. So I wanted to mark that somehow, but it was like really hard to mark. I didn't really know what to do, but I think that worked out pretty well in the end. And then I did go and place the only full box that came in the kit down on the 27th. I had nothing that day and I just felt like it needed something in that corner. So that's all the sticker, like event stickers down. I am now taking my eyelash applicators and placing the foiled little date dots down from the kit, which is super pretty. She uses such a really pretty script. And um, yeah, just using my eyelash applicators to place those down. And so you can see that I've gone off camera and filled everything out with my Muji gel pen in 0.5 millimeters. And now I'm placing my 52 week saving challenge makes and jars which are from pb shop so i'm just placing them on every, each week i usually like to place them on the wednesday but if i've got something on i just make sure that i place it sometime during that week because i know i've got to do it anyway and then there's all this gorgeous deco that comes in the kit and i had to use it because it was just so pretty and also because a lot of it was foiled as well so i just placed that around the spread and you can see i mainly pasted it like towards the end of the month just because i don't have as many plans um and yeah so i did all that and now i'm placing my wacky holidays down i love my wacky holidays it feels like you spread really nicely as well these are from once more with love and they're just super cute 
Um, I love bow tie day. I thought that was really funny. Whale shark day is really cute. They're all really cute. Like she just does such a good job on these and I just adore them. They add so much fun to your monthly spread. Oh, and I also placed the little LMP icon sticker on the build you on the 21st because I always like to just use that there <laughs> um, whenever I've got like an LMP box renewal. So you can see that I've just used up the entire sheet of my Wacky Holidays, which is very, very satisfying. And this is the pen that I use, the Muji Gel Pen in 0.5, my eyelash applicator, scissors, my slice tool, um, the Undo, which is a lifesaver. Highly recommend you getting that. And then this is what I have left in the kit. So just some icons, some labels, washi and flags. So enough to fill out the rest of the month and then some. So... Um, but I really do have a pretty full spread already. So, um, yeah, so I absolutely adore this kit. Definitely going to look into using another Simply Watercolor Co. kit um, for another month. Um, so, and remember to use my coupon code, which is down below in the description box. Anyway, I really hope that you like this video. Please like, subscribe, and follow me on Instagram, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!